After reviewing the economic outlook and prospects, the Reserve Bank of India cut the policy rate by a further 25 basis points. This means we have cut interest rates by a total of 150 basis points since the beginning of the accommodative cycle. Our attention in recent months has turned to seeing that this large quantum of rate cuts is passed through into borrowing rates. The introduction of the marginal cost lending rate, the MCLR, since April 1st will help. Our first estimate from the 26 largest banks in the system, accounting for about 83 percent of activity, has been that since the last week of March, the median overnight MCLR is down by 50 basis points from the base rate and is down by 25 basis points across all tenures. This is important because it means an actual rate cut to the borrower of a further 25 to 50 basis points at least even before today's rate cut. Put differently, policy action is significantly greater today than just another 25 basis point cut. Borrowing is now significantly cheaper and will continue to, do so, to get so. To further this process, a major focus of this policy has been to address liquidity issues. After a detailed review and internal discussions, We've brought in significant refinements to our framework, including clearer differentiation between the durable liquidity needs of the system and short-term liquidity needs, indicated an intent to move closer to neutral on overall durable liquidity needs, reduced the MSF rate by 75 basis points, and increase the rate at which banks can deposit at the RBI by 25 basis points so as to narrow the interest rate corridor, reduce the minimum daily maintenance of CRR to 90%. All these measures, along with the government's actions on small savings rates, should also help continue the process of transmission. In addition to further durable liquidity provision, we have announced an open market operation a purchase of government securities of 15,000 crores today. The monetary policy stance remains accommodative. Going forward, we will be looking for further monetary room in signs of a good monsoon, further readings of low headline inflation, indications of softening in core inflation, and further evidence of transmission of rate cuts. Part B of this policy statement also has a number of reform measures, including continuing opening up of the banking sector, new market instruments such as money market futures, broadening participation in and easing access to markets, such as allowing retail customers the ability to trade GSEX and to undertake foreign exchange trades, and strengthening financial inclusion through measures such as improving the business correspondent network. Moreover, in the weeks to come, you will see a fulfillment of our past announcements, including the release of guidelines for on-tap licensing of universal banks, the start of the trading platform for priority sector lending certificates, and the introduction of mobile-to-mobile -mobile transfers to the universal payment interface by NPCL. Finally, the process of cleaning up bank balance sheets is well underway, and I'm happy with the progress made thus far.